Between aging and busy lifestyles, many women struggle with maintaining their physical and mental wellness. At Aquavita Concierge Healthcare Services for Women, we can help you revitalize your health and reclaim your life. We start from within by balancing your hormones, allowing your body to achieve and maintain desired weight goals. We also specialize in peptide therapies, regenerative medicine, sexual health, and aesthetics in our state-of-the-art facilities. Feel better, look better, live better. At Aquavita, visit aquavitality.com and begin your journey today. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Ladies and gentlemen, Maxwell House presents Fanny Bryce as Baby Snooks. Well, there's trouble in the house again. Snooks ransacked all the closets, found the Christmas presents, and opened them up. Mother was good and mad, and she reported the incident to Daddy, played by Hanley Stafford. As the scene opens, Daddy is entering Snooks' bedroom to have a talk with her. Listen. Snooks. Snooks, where are you? I'm on the bed. Oh. Are you going to come out? No. Well, look out. I'm coming under there. Is she after you too, Daddy? Nobody's after me. What are you doing under that bed? I'm hiding from that woman. What woman? Your wife. I don't like her. Oh, come on out. All right, Daddy. Now, that's better. Now, what happened? Mommy didn't give me no supper, and she spanked me. Oh, I told her never to spank you on an empty stomach. She didn't spank me on the stomach, Daddy. Well, whatever happened, I guess you deserved it. I didn't do nothing. You did plenty. Mother told me you've been a naughty girl all day. What did you do to your little brother? Nothing. Now, you'd better tell me the truth, Snooks. We was playing Indians. And... And what? And I stopped them. What? But I didn't really stop him, Daddy. I only cut off his hair with the scissors. And you call that nothing? He didn't have much hair anyway. Snooks, what's the matter with you? With Christmas so close, you'd think a little girl would go out of her way to be very good. You'd think so, wouldn't you, Daddy? Now, don't be smart. I certainly wouldn't want to get caught opening the presents before Christmas. <laughs> I didn't want to get caught either. Now, stop that. How is it Mother found you in that closet with the presents? She walked awful quiet, Daddy. The very idea. Ripping open all the packages. People go out of their way to be nice to you. Get your lovely presents. And you couldn't wait a couple of days. Oh, that's the lowest trick in the world. Is it, Daddy? It certainly is. Uh, didn't see anything for me there, did you? <laughs> Mommy bought you a bathrobe. Oh. One of those crummy ones like last year? Same thing. Oh, well. You want to see it, Daddy? No, I don't want to see it. You uh, didn't happen to see what I got for Mother, did you? Uh Uh-huh. That's really a nightgown, isn't it? Uh Uh-huh. It's a crummy one like last year. Now, Snopes, just because I said it, you don't have to say it. Mommy said it, too. Oh, she did. This is going to be a fine Christmas. And on top of everything, Uncle Louis is coming to stay with us. He won't like it either. Oh, what do you mean? I've seen the present you brought him. I never mind that present. What's the matter with it anyway? It's a very expensive tie. Oh, what's he giving me? A grand piano? No, he's saying Now, you... don't tell me. That's the very thing I'm trying to explain to you. I've got enough patience to wait until Christmas morning to open my presents. I don't go snooping around closets and... and... What did he send me, sir? I ain't gonna tell you. All right, you don't have to. I'm not curious. <laughs> not much. Not at all. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. All right. Now, what is it? Such a big secret? Well, I won't tell you what it is. But, uh... Yes? It's made of wood... And it's brown, and you smoke it. Another pipe. 
Two-bit Louie. <laughs> ah, cheapskate. And to think I tossed out 39 cents on that tie. <laughs> I'll bet the pipe's no good. It's no good, Daddy. Well, how do you know? I smoked it. <laughs> oh, what's the matter with you? I feel sick. Sure, and it serves you right. Maybe you'll have a little more patience from now on. What patience? Well, I'll tell you. Suppose a man goes fishing. What man? Any man. Uncle Louie? Oh, no. Not Uncle Louie. He's got no time for fishing. He's too busy hoarding. <laughs> huh? Nothing. Now, listen. Suppose a man goes fishing, and he sits for an hour and doesn't catch any fish. Then he sits for another hour. Still no fish. So he waits and he waits, and he doesn't give up. Finally, he catches a fish. What has that man got? A fish? <laughs> no. What must he have in order to catch the fish? Worm. He must have patience. Why? Because he had to wait until the fish bit on his hook. Why did the fish bite it? He wanted his dinner. Didn't the fish have no patience? No, the fish was exactly like you. Going through closets and tearing open Christmas presents. The fish done that? No, the fish didn't done that. You done it. <laughs> I've got a good mind to tell Santa not to bring you anything. I'll tell Oh, you don't. <laughs> no, I seen what he brought me and I don't like it. Snooks, is it possible that you don't like that beautiful little electric stove? It's possible, Daddy. <laughs> so you don't like that stove, hmm? Didn't you write and ask Santa for the stove? Mm-hmm. But I changed my mind. I want a pair of ice skates. Well, that's a horse of another color. I want a colored horse, too. <laughs> I'm afraid you're asking for a little too much, Snooks. Then just tell him to bring me the ice skates. No, no ice skates. Oh, please, Daddy. If he brings me the ice skates, I'll give all my other toys away to the poor little children. Well, that's very sweet of you, dear, but I think you're too young for ice skates. Why? Well, oh, Christmas is so close, and I don't want to argue. But look, I'll make a bargain with you. All right. Okay, here's my proposition. <laughs> I'll tell you a story, and if I can make you say, no, I haven't, you don't get the skates. What mustn't I say? No, I haven't. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Right. Well, there was once a little boy who lived in a shack with his stepmother and stepfather. He was only a little lad. Was he a stepladder? <laughs> no, he was an orphan. Uh, have you ever seen an orphan? No, I haven't. No. <laughs> No what? No often. <laughs> Foxy little muzzler. Well, anyhow, this orphan was selling papers on the street when he came to a toy store with a, 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 a green glass windows. Um, you've seen green glass windows, haven't you? No. No what? I ain't talking. <laughs> Keep trying, Daddy. Yeah. Well, the little boy came to this toy shop, and suddenly he saw... Wait a minute. I think you've heard this story before. You bet your life I have. <laughs> you thought I was going to say, no, I haven't. You lose. No skates. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What's the use? Listen, Christmas only comes once a year. I'll buy you the skates. Honest, Daddy? <laughs> yes, honest. <laughs> you're the best good daddy in the whole world. <laughs> now you're cooking with gas. <laughs> With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you Lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. David's Bridal, where brides and bridesmaids get fabulously dressed. We let our friends pick out what we wear, show off our dance moves, obsess over every little detail, hold your hand through it all, smile bravely when it's time to let go. Make your dreams come true. The things we do for love. Only at David's Bridal. 